Well, today I'm going to paint clouds and watercolor, of course. Right now, I'm not very strong, so I have to I'll use the best medium that I can use. I'm going to use 140 pound paper, as usual. And uh, I'm just going to paint some clouds because it's such beautiful clouds right now. And where is coming, so just stick with me to this video. Thank you. Okay, I'm starting out. Uh, I have my papers off, and so I'm, I'm going to start out with some uh, this big brush, and um, I'm using kind of a combination of lavender and um, this is pale blue. You have to get something on the paper before you can do anything. Now, I've got a picture that I'm kind of going by a little bit. Um, it's over here. Um, it was over here. I've done it This is a, this is a photograph. I'm not going to copy it, but I'm just going to use it as a reference. Sometimes you, you need that. Now, um, I gotta come in here now and get some of this. Just a little bit. I don't like it. It's running down. Actually, I get too much water in this. This big brush holds a lot of water. So don't forget. When you use it, you need something like paper towel or fold it up and hit your brush on it. And then you can go back in and smooth it. I had something else in mind really when I started this, but now I'm I'm heading this way and um, it's gonna get maybe a little more gray in this blue. This is also uh, black gold, the Morella is burnt sienna. It's burnt sienna with the blue, and uh, it's been kind of add some color to it there because I don't like I don't like it too blue. I may go into my other brush now because. This one is but that's a two inch brush. This is my 20, 24 inch. And uh, the difference is, well, actually the difference is, this is a round, because you know that, and uh, those are flat. Okay, now I've got some background in there, and uh, I'm gonna come up here now kind of bring in some clouds. Yeah, this is some uh, smooth uh, paper towel. And while it's wet, I'm going in here. Kind of bring in a cloud effect right there. And up in here. It's getting kind of dry, and I'm going to have to use white anyway, but uh, I want to shape it up. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to mix up some gray, and uh, put some gray in here too. You know, clouds have gray in, and some blue. And just putting it like this. Because I'm coming in by the white. Oh, I'm just using burnt sienna now and, and ultramarine blue. And that's a little bit more burnt sienna than I wanted, but that's okay. 
then I'm going to come in here with this cloud. I haven't really painted. We're here now. I'm using this paper towel as a smooth. You can use Kleenex too. Right now I'm using this paper towel. This kind of a stroke, you know, kind of a still space of white right there, but um, I'm going to put, right now I'm going to put the landscape in because um, I want to know where, where that's going to, where that's going to go. It's going to go probably down in the air. This is my mixture. Okay, I'm starting now with some blue down here at the bottom. I'm going to turn it a little bit on the, on the green side. I got a little blue in here. have um, some trees or something come up there. It's up in there now it's dry enough that I can come in with some darker color. It's hard to reach over there. You know when you've been sick for eight months Bring some of my colors or some of my brushes. Gotcha. I want to make this more of a, a lighter color down in here. It's, it's fun to paint like this because actually, I don't, I don't know. I'm just painting. I'm trying to go a little bit by my, my photograph. But not really. See, I like what the water, sometimes the water does things for it that you wouldn't even think of doing. Now up in here, um, I got in some lavender, lilac. Like. 